So retailers are in a very uh, challenging position these days. Uh, there's so much that's happening in terms of technology, in terms of mobile content and mobile devices, multiple channels of communication, uh, this whole idea of, um, of being able to um, showroom uh, where folks are coming into stores and then uh, looking for what they want and then buying online. Uh, there are issues around geofencing where organizations are able to target specific coupons and specific offerings to customers who are in store. Uh, but all of this change requires that certain things be in, uh, in alignment in terms of data and process. Uh, many retail organizations have bolted together capabilities over the years. They have lots of disparate systems, they have lots of disparate processes, and in many cases the data is very fragmented. So one of the things that we've been doing for our retail customers is helping them to harmonize and normalize that data so that they have a solid foundation. Because the data has to be there at the product level in order to create a dynamic, uh, 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 agile user experience. Right? We start off with the data as it's being ingested when we onboard products, and many times that is very uh, uh, challenging and very difficult uh, because of the fragmentation and because of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the lack of harmonization of that data, the inconsistency. Uh, for one large uh, organization, we went in and actually fixed the data on 500,000 products. So a team of data stewards who actually went in and made the changes to the data so that they could have those, uh, that, that, that seamless user experience. But it's also about building the information architecture to support multiple channels and multiple devices. It's about being able to build the processes and the governance so that uh, retailers are, are more agile and really reducing the amount of time it takes to bring new products to market. So a lot of exciting things going on in retail, uh, tremendous challenges, uh, but, um, but there's a lot of uh, uh, answers. There are a lot of approaches that are working for retailers today.